Someone was into the cat food. I wonder who that was. Who did that? I got Dad's boots. So good morning, guys. Actually, haha, -ha, fooled you. Afternoon. We're coming out to give the goats some more alfalfa hay. Hey guys. So today I'm going to try to make this instant pot beef stew. I'm not even sure if I have everything. Um, I probably do, but some things I might substitute or, you know, just kind of make it my own. So, so the first thing I need to do is saute my beef, sprinkle it with salt and pepper. So I'm going to get that going before I cut up all my vegetables and stuff. I'm out of carrots. What hurts, baby? I'm out of carrots, so I'm actually gonna use this. Um, yeah, which is weird, because normally I buy a lot of carrots. Oh well. So I'm stirring a little bit away from the recipe because it tells me to brown one part of my beef and then the other part of my beef. Basically, one pound of beef and then um, do the other pound. So I want you to do two pounds of beef. I just added all my beef into this pot. And then after it tells you to do that, it tells you to um, saute your onions by themselves. So I'm like, why? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm sure it'll turn out, um, but, you know, here we go. So, I've got my onions in my beef in here sautéing. As soon as my onions are soft and my beef looks, you know, browned, I will start um, adding everything in, which it also says a cup of beef, what is it, beef stock, which I don't have beef stock I just have beef broth we'll see we just hope for the best and we'll see how it turns out I actually do have some powder beef but I don't know how that is either so we're just gonna eat we're just we're just gonna roll with it we'll see how this turns out either it'll be good or it won't hoping it'll be good okay so I followed the recipe pretty much I mean besides from my using the broth and um, we called for a teaspoon of Italian seasoning a teaspoon of thyme and then it called for a bay leaf I don't have a bay leaf so as soon as it gets done I'm going to add my peas and carrots because they're frozen and they should cook fairly quickly because everything will be really hot and then I added two tablespoons of tomato paste now I have all this tomato paste I need to put it in a jar and then it called for I think it was a tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, wish, wish, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. What? Do I want to hold your baby? No. So um, I added a little bit extra. My husband really likes it. Very soft, yeah. So as soon as it's done, I'll add two tablespoons of cornstarch and water to thicken it. After I add my peas, that is, and that's it. We'll see how it turns out.
Y'all like my shirt? I just got it. I didn't wash it because you know what? Going outside, it's just gonna get dirty anyway. But I ordered it off of Amazon and it took like a while. Not like a long while, it probably took, I don't know, two weeks to come in. But this is just a girl who loves goats and chickens. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Anyway, I have peanut butter cake in the oven. Try to film some of it, but I, I made it before. Um, I have a video somewhere. I'll link it somewhere. Um, but it's got like four minutes and I want to go outside. I need to feed my goats. I fed them hay earlier, um, but I normally feel, feed them also their alfalfa pellets and a little bit of their goat feed. Um, the reason being is because they're in a pen and they can't get out and eat like trees and stuff and you know, the things that goats eat, weeds and stuff. So I, I feed them in the morning and then I feed them in the evening. Now I know some people say, oh, you don't have to feed your goats. They can, but that's when they're in like a pasture. That's when they're, you know, can eat all the stuff they want to eat. But my goats, they can't right now. I do put them out on their line and they do get exercise that way and get out and nibble around. But it's like usually only for a little while because I'm very nervous now ever since I almost lost Millie. I think this cake is done. It's got three minutes. It's got three minutes. I just checked it like a couple minutes ago and I'm pretty done. I have to make the gravy for it, but the gravy. <laughs> I gotta make the frosting for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Look at look at that. It's beautiful. I'm pretty confident it is done. Oh yeah, it's done. If you push in the middle and it sponges, it's it, like brings back up um dinner was good my husband said it was really good he loved it my biscuits are amazing <laughs> can i say but personally the part i didn't like about the the um, beef stew was the tomato i didn't like the tomato paste it like just gave it that you know what i mean um uh, next time i told him next time i make it I'm gonna try a different recipe because there was multiple ones to choose from online and I threw the one away but um, it might have been a little bit different if I would have added chicken chicken beef stock instead of beef broth but overall it was really good um, I mean it got eight ruffle even journey ate it Sterling's at Alyssa's house right now and she went to play and it's so sad because <laughs> earlier journey's like Where'd sister go? Where'd sister go? Anyway, I need to go feed my goats. Everybody's outside. It's a chicken. They're eating. Hey. 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 Anybody home? Turn it off. Yeah, I did. Mm. Hello, family. Otis, what are you doing? Uh oh. He's trying to bite the chicken's butt. He said, guess what? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. You look mighty sexy in those boots. Mm -hmm. Which they fit. Hey guys, so it is now weird.
weird. <laughs> it's 9.49, but the little thing it just said, how to make peanut butter cups. And it just kind of freaked me out because I just got done eating peanut butter cake. Um, so I made peanut, that peanut butter cake. It's delicious. Sterling and my husband are up there eating it right now. We went to go get Sterling at Alyssa's house and then came home. And now I'm just now getting downstairs. I'm going to, I have to make a, um, I've got one order that was supposed to ship today, which is a Littlest Pet Shop. So I'm going to work on that one. And then I have to work on Kristen's orders, which are some Fourth of July ones. But here's the thing. It's 18 months. And I have to make sure I have those onesies because... I think I do. I placed an order for pickup at Target, as you guys know. And that reminds me, is my order ready? Hello. I have to look. Um, so I went to pick it, pick up my order and it was like one of two. And it said you'll pick up your second part of your order at a later time. And this was what? Thursday? Friday? I don't remember. Target survey. Well, that's not it. Lowe's service. Anyway, so I'm hoping to get this one shirt done and then Kristen's two onesies done and then Oh, it says they canceled my item. Sorry, we had to cancel an item on your order. Don't worry, you're not being charged. Well, yeah, they canceled my item. Of course I'm not going to be charged. Anyway, <clears throat> I have to look at all my orders, but the only ones that are supposed to ship tomorrow is Kristen's order. Which, yeah, so it is almost 10 o'clock. I want to get to bed early because we got to go some places tomorrow. I got to get some stabilizer, not stabilizer, tender touch. Like, I'm out. I hope I have enough to do these shirts. Oh, I might. It looks like I have like that much. I probably got enough. Anyway, let me get some work done. My camera's a little crooked. Oh, it just went a little more crooked. <laughs> What's going on? Just dropped my shirts. Anyway, guys, it is 12:45. I just finished. I wanted to actually be in bed by 12. That didn't happen. Um, so. This is one of Kristen's, and this one is Kristen's, so, um, so this design, so you all know I used to do designs on my PE770, where you can change, you, you know, you just stop it and you can change it, well, on this design, this one is supposed to be all one color, but me being all fancy, um, did it red and silver and blue and so with the Melco I can't stop it I can't change things so I had to go in and alter this design which is fine because you know if I sell more it's done now I don't have to redo it um, but you go in with the Sewit Pro and you just um, copy the USA a copy whatever um, I left the USA outline which is the first step I left that the same the tack down I left that the same I didn't do any changes there the only changes I did is in the coloring um, I copied and then pasted and deleted the original um, S and then 
um, after you copy and paste it had the USA so I had to um, erase the U and I erase the A and then um, move it. It's a lot. It's just, it was just a lot of work. Um, but at least it's done now. And um, yeah, so in the original shirt um, that I used for my listing, it's actually a shirt I made for Sterling. And it, we still have it too. It's in yonder. In yonder. It's upstairs. And I did that one. Too. So I had to do one more shirt, but I don't have a size 6 shirt. So I'm hoping they come in. They were shipped out today, so they probably won't be in until Thursday. And they need it on the 1st, which is when? Monday. So, yeah. Okay, so if, there, if it comes in on Thursday, I'll get it made that day and ship priority mail. That's what I'll have to do. Because um, I, I can't do anything. I can't ma magically make a shirt up here. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. My battery light is flashing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.